What's up, Jags fans? It's your boy UCF Jaguar, and there's some interesting NFL trade rumors going around today regarding the Jacksonville Jaguars potentially being interested in the trade with the Dolphins to receive Brandon Albert, the left tackle. So let's go ahead and break it down. According to Armando Salguero of the Miami Herald, the talks basically went down like this. The Dolphins told Brandon Albert that he was going to be getting cut. And then Albert went on to tell his agent about this. Then his agent went out to the media and told them that he was getting ready to be cut. And then from there is when Jacksonville saw that, contacted Miami and said, wait, hold on, we might have something here. And that's why Brandon Albert actually wasn't cut today. Because apparently the Jaguars and maybe some other teams are actually contacting the Dolphins to see about a potential trade. Now this comes with good timing just because two days ago the Jaguars announced that they're not going to be picking up Kellen Beecham's option. And by not picking up Kellen Beecham's option, it left a huge hole at left tackle. As we have nobody that's actually ready to start out there day one. Especially given the fact that Luke Jokel is an unrestricted free agent this year. This move to get Brandon Albert actually does make sense just because we need to get better at run blocking. And that's one of the best things that Brandon Albert is good at. Last year, Kellen Beecham just wasn't a good enough run blocker. And you can attribute that to his knee, you can attribute that to whatever. But the fact of the matter is that he was not a good enough run blocker. And I think that's something that Nate Hackett really wants to do. I remember when he took over as offensive coordinator this year, he really wanted to get more of an emphasis on the run game. And back when he was on the Bills, he was big on the run game as well. But over the course of the four years that Dave Caldwell has been GM of this team, he hasn't really gone out and traded for that many big kind of players. So the question is, what will we have to give up to get Brandon Albert on this team? The Dolphins apparently want draft picks for Brandon Albert, and if that's the case, then I don't see the Jaguars training for him just because you know how Dave Caldwell is, you know how this regime is, you have to, you have to build through the draft. I don't believe in giving up these young draft picks to try to get somebody that's 32, 33 years old ending the end of his career. Now, a trade that makes a little more sense is potentially giving up Julius Thomas, which I would be all for, which makes sense for both teams because the Dolphins, they really need a move tight end such as Julius Thomas that can go out there and catch passes, and that's athletic. You combine that with the fact that Adam Gase is head coach over there, and he was actually the offensive coordinator for the Broncos, the two years that he had a combined 25 passing touchdowns. But what's interesting about this whole deal is Brandon Albert, I don't know if it's because he's a veteran or if there's some kind of clause in his, in his contract, but he has to agree on whether or not he wants to be traded. So if that's the case, if we were potentially to get him, we'd probably have to throw some extra money on top to kind of lure him over to Jacksonville. Because most of the times, players, players that reach that age are more so wanting to be on a team like the Patriots or be on a team like the Steelers, a team that's built and pretty much ready to compete for a championship. But do I see this trade going down? I honestly don't, just because so much stuff has to go right for it to happen. Like a player-for-player player trade doesn't really happen all too much, just because of all the technicalities of it, and you have to have like everything pretty much line up perfectly. And the only way I see it, us giving up any kind of draft pick for them is maybe a draft pick in next year's draft, like some kind of pick that's fifth round or later. Just because with the top four round picks, you really got to make sure that you hit on those guys because those are eventually going to be the cornerstone guys of your team. But not necessarily cornerstone, I just mean guys that can contribute and potentially start. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have any recommendations for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. And Duval!